how to graph a tally chart. First, you need the data. As you can see here, I have written it with the three colors, green, pink, and black. With a tally chart, you will have lines. The fifth line goes inwards. Now, as you can see, we've got four. The, gr the way to get a full mark while graph is to put these four, four things on your graph. Always make, you, make sure you put on the title of the graph. Make sure you use subtitles. You need data, or else what are you graphing? And always put something on your graph. For example, example for a graph that shows how many people like apples, oranges, or bananas. Here's an example of a pictograph. Link by ten. First, you need to first you need the data. Then choose a symbol. A for funny example, symbol. A funny symbol to show how much it is. For example, one star is equals two, and one circle is one. Now make your make your graph. Here is, a, here is the graph that we made. You need your title. Our title is Favorite Colors. Put number five. Put the colors on the right side of the graph. Here's pink, green, and black. And we've got these funny little symbols. Lingua 10. But first, you need a question, such as this one. Link boy 10 just showed you how to make a picture. Graph, and now here are some, ins oh, we've already gone over the instructions. Anyways, a good question would be, Link Boy 10 went around the classroom in school and asked 14 people what their favorite color was, pink, green, or black. He came up with six pink, seven green, and one black. So apparently no one likes black. Now, superhero, now for an... A line graph, bar graph, bar graph, I mean, you will need lines, or bars, but not chocolate bars. You don't want to eat your graph. Now, and you also need a question, such as, Superhero 977 went to the library and took out 14 books. She took out seven, seven books, books, books on Japan, six books on, China. six books on China, and one book on Egypt. Now we got... Japan, China, and Egypt. Then you need numbers. Numbers for the graph. And then we need a title, such as Ancient History Book. Or else, unfortunately, you need the numbers, or else you don't, you're just going to be having lines randomly. And now we've come on to a line graph. And we have put on a little data here, such as Link Boy 10 went to the dentist and he was allowed to book a pro pick a prize. And there were seven bounce back balls, six movies, and one book light. He drew a line graph once he chose his, his, his prize. The result was as seen here. There was, there was you need dots here, unseen because of the line. You need a dot where everything is. Since there are seven bounce back balls, you'd put a dot here on the seven. Since there were six movies, you need to put a dot on the, on the number six line. And then a book light would be put closely to the one. Because there was only one book light. Book light. Now, this graph was done by Link Boy 10 and Super Hero 77. 977. 977. This is teaching how to graph a tally chart. You can applause now.